Hello and welcome to a very important chapter on Python which is known as working with functions. So in this chapter I'll be basically dealing with functions so it's better you practice alongside me uh, whenever I'll show you the functions or the related codes. Okay, so let's try to understand what a function is. So let's say you are organizing a birthday party for yourself. So for that birthday party, what you are going to do, you have booked a hall. So whoever you have given the contract of managing the hall, they will be responsible for cleaning the hall and, and keeping it in a proper decorum. Suppose you have given uh, a different company to manage the decoration work. So they will be dealing specifically with the decoration work. Suppose you have given a company the job of managing the food items. So that they will be responsible only for managing the food item. So what will happen in this case is that you will not have to take the headache of managing the entire birthday party. Why? Because you have assigned specific tasks to specific purpose, uh, to some specific companies or to some specific organizations. Similarly, in a program also, you may not want to take the entire headache yourself. So what you can do, you can assign some different persons to deal with some specific requirements. For example, let's say you are developing a system for uh, making the software for an ATM. So for making the software for an ATM, there will be various functions like uh, there will be one function related to withdraw, there will be another function related to, related to money transfer, there may be another uh, function related to deposit. So all these three functions, withdraw, deposit and money transfer, these three functions can be developed by different programmers and at the end what you can do you can integrate all of those to make the entire software for the bank so let's try to understand what a function is technically so a function may be defined as a group of statements that exist within a program for the purpose of performing a specific task so the work of function is not to handle the entire thing the work of a function will be to handle a specific Tasks. So let's go to the types of function. What are the types of functions? The types of functions are built-in functions, second is modules and the third is user-defined functions. Let's go to them one by one. So first is your built-in functions. So what are built-in functions? So the predefined functions that are already available in the Python standard library are known as built-in functions. So there are various functions that are already available in the Python standard library. Python standard library means whenever you download Python from the official Python website, you will get certain functions which are already inbuilt into the Python library. Those functions can be used directly and those are known as your built-in functions. So for using the built-in function, we need not import any module. So Let's see some of the examples of built-in function. Some of the examples of built-in functions are the first is int, float, next is the input functions, next is the eval, eval function, next mean, man, abs, type, length, uh, length, alien stands for length, range and there are round and various other inbuilt functions are there. Let's try to understand and implement these functions one by one. Okay, so I'll be implementing here in Anaconda. So this is the interactive mode in Anaconda. So if you are using the basic Python distribution, so if you do it in the interactive mode, it will yield the same result. Okay, so the first type of built-in function is the type conversion functions. So basically the type conversion functions we have uh, in Python are int and float. So what is the use of int? So this function is used to convert floating point number and strings to integers. For example, let's say if I write int 23.76, then you'll get the answer as 23. Why? Because 23.76 was a floating point number. But whenever I have used the int function with 23.76, it has been automatically converted to int. For example, let's convert a string if I write int 764 so why it is a string because i have given it within quotes so it will be converted into the integer form but if you pass some alphabetic 
uh, alphabets into the uh, strings into the in function then it will give you an error because alphabets cannot be converted into integers if you do not pass any argument to int it will result in zero let's go to the next type conversion function which is float so similar to int if we give uh, pass an integer to the float what it will do it will convert itself to a floating point number similarly let's pass a string then also it will convert it into float so let's try to do a calculation of a string so if i give float 65 plus 23 so it will yield in 88.0 so these are type conversion function that means their main work is to convert from one data type to another similarly here if i want to uh, pass some alphabet to the float function then it will give me an error let's go to the next function next so these are inbuilt function that means for using this we need not import any module so let's say we'll be uh, using the input function now so let's say so x equals to input enter your name let's say so then it will come as enter your name so let, let me give it as allies so it is taking the name okay let's go to the next example uh, let's say uh, the next function is eval so this function is used to evaluate the value of a string for example if i write here x equals to eval 2 plus 3 so what should i pass with the eval i should pass a string this function is used to evaluate the value of a string so if i give x now so it has evaluated the value that is 2 plus 3 is equals to 5 let's go to the next function which is the max function so if i give so max function is basically used to find out the maximum value from a list of value so if i give 9 8 55 then it will give me the result as 55 why because 55 is the highest value so let's say i'll give max like hello comma sir so you should pay attention to one thing here that h is in capital and s is in small so whenever i press the enter key i have got the answer as sir why i've got the answer as sir because the ASCII value, so S is in small case alphabet, but H is in capital alphabet. So, as you know that the ASCII value of smaller case alphabets are greater as compared to greater case uh, to upper case alphabets. Therefore, we are getting the result as sir. Let's show you the ASCII uh, value chart. So, what is the ASCII value of S? The ASCII value of S is your one one five. What is the ASCII value of capital H? The ASCII value of capital H is how much? It is 72. But 115 is greater as compared to 72. Therefore, you are getting the answer as SIR. So, let's go to the next function which is the mean function. Similar to max, mean will, what it will do? It will find out the minimum value from the uh, given argument so what is the minimum among 9 8 and 55 it is 8 so you are getting the result as 8 similarly if i give min uh, let's say apple comma ball so you are getting the result as apple why again let's come to the ascii chart so what is the ascii value for a it is 65 what is the ascii value for capital b it is 66 as the ASCII value for A is smaller as compared to B, therefore, we are getting the result as nothing but Apple. So, while comparing, always the comparison starts from the first character and not the other characters. Let's go to the next type of uh, next inbuilt function, which is ABS. So, the main work of ABS function is to find out the absolute value of a particular number absolute value means it will always 
be giving the positive the result in positive even though we pass it a negative value let's say we have passed here minus 78 even then we'll get the answer as 78 let's try to pass say um, this one floating point number let's say 45.1 even then we have even though we have passed the argument as minus 45.1 we have got the answer as 45.1 itself the symbol um, is ignored here okay so whenever i am saying argument argument means whatever i am passing within the brackets it is known as the argument so next thing is the type function so what is the use of the type in build function the use of type function is to give the data type of a particular object so type 10 10 is an integer so i am getting the uh, result as int similarly let's uh, try with a string let's say type hi so we'll, we'll give the type as str similarly you, you can check for floating point number for boolean etc let's go to the next inbuilt function which is len len is used to find out the length of an object let's say if i give len hi so how many characters are there there are two characters so i'm getting the length as two let's say i'll i want to find out the length of a list so i'll be passing as let's say eight three four zero so how many objects are there there are four objects so i'll get the answer as how much i'll get the answer as four let's try to understand the next function which is the range function so range function if i give range 0 comma 5 so it will give you the list of values from 0 to 4 so if you want to see the output here so you have to uh, give list before using the range function so if i give list range 0 comma 5 i'll get the answer as 0 1 2 3 and 4 if you directly use the range function in interactive mode you will not get the uh, list of numbers but you will get the same result uh, as the input okay so if you want to see the list of values then you have to use the list function over the range function next let us go to the round function so round function is used to round off a number so let's say 45.876 i want to keep two digits after the decimal point so i'll give here comma two so the answer is 45.88 why 88 because the third character is 6 so it as it is greater than 5 so the second character will be incremented by 1 okay so this is the first type of function which is built-in function so how this built-in function comes this automatically comes whenever you download the python from the python official website let's go to the next type of functions which is the modules so what is a module a module may be defined as a file containing functions and variables defined in separate files so in simpler words what can we say we can say that a module in python it is a file that contains a collection of related functions okay so let's say you have different books for physics chemistry mathematics and all so in the physics book you will be getting information only related to physics in the chemistry book you will be getting information only related to chemistry and so on similarly module is a file which contains related functions for example we know about a very popular module which is the math module math module is basically used for dealing with mathematical functions so inside the math module we will get only the functions related to mathematics okay so in order to use the functions of a particular module it must be imported before use so this is a crucial difference between built-in function and module in case of built-in function we need not import anything but in case of modules we have to import that particular module before using it so before using the functions of a module it must be ensured that the modules are installed if it is not a part of the python standard library so there are many many modules in python okay but only certain module comes along with the python standard library 
so but if you are using some module which is not a part of python standard library you need to download that module okay before using it okay so remember this thing for using the functions of a module we need to import it and at the very beginning okay now let's see how to import these modules so for importing the modules there are basically two ways so first way is using the import statement and the second way is using the from import statement let's try to see it one by one so first we'll be go to the uh, we'll go to the import statement so this statement is used to import the entire module so if you want to import the all the functions of a particular module you will have to use the import statement so when the python interpreter encounters the import statement it imports the module if the module is present in the search part so if the module is installed in your computer then you will get all the functions related to that particular module so let's see the syntax how some module can be imported so if you want to import only a single module you need to give the syntax import module name for example for importing the math module you have to give import math or if you want to import more than one module at the same time then you have to use this syntax which is import module 1 module 2 dot 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 up to module n so if you want to import two modules let's say math and random module then you have to give the command as import math comma random and this import statement should be given before using those particular modules okay so let's try to see how these modules are used so what is the syntax for using the functions related to a particular module number one you have to import that particular module number two after that you have to use the functions related to the module by using the syntax module name dot function name and if that function has some arguments you have to give that argument for example for you after importing math let's say we want to use the sqrt module so what we have to write we have to write math dot sqrt and let's say we want to find out the s square root of 4 so we have to give the uh, argument as 4 let's try to see some of the uh, uh, some of the functions related to math module so before using this math module what we need to do we need to import it so what i'll write here import math so after that so let's say i want to use the sqrt function so what i'll give math dot sqrt let's say 4 so i'll get the answer as 2.0 so there are various functions associated with math module let's try to see them one by one only some of the functions will be seen let's say i'll be showing you the seal function seal function is used to find out the next in available integer as per the given argument so if i give seal 7.2 what is the next greater integer it is 8 so you'll get the answer as 8 so if i give math dot seal like minus 7.2 what is the next greatest integer it is minus 7 so you'll get the answer as minus 7 similarly there is a function known as floor floor means ground so you will get the next smallest integer so if i give here floor 7.2 so i'll get the answer as not 8 but 7 now because it gives the next smallest integer not the greatest integer and so on so there is another function related to math which is the power function power function is used to find out the power of a particular number so what is the syntax so math dot pow at first we have to give the um, base let's say i'll give the base as 2 so, and let's say i want the power as 3 so for finding out 2 to the power 3 i have to write it in this particular format so i'll be getting the answer as 8.0 next let's go to the um, this one so here trigonometric functions can also be used let's say i'll give math.cos 0 so i'll get the result as okay so for let, let's say you want to import more than one module so you can do it like import math comma random 
so more than one modules can also be imported in a single line so now all the functions related to math module will also be available and all the functions related to random module will also be available let's say uh, random is a different part so i'll be dealing with it in details in a different uh, topic so but now let's see uh, whether it works or not yes so random dot random random function is basically used to generate random numbers from 0 to in the range of 0 to 1 so i've got a random number so basically what you can see is that both the modules are working together here okay so this is one way of importing the module now let's say you do not want all the functions of a particular module so in that case you will have to use the second uh, type of import statement which is from import statement so this statement is used to import the specific attributes from a module into the current namespace so let's say you'll be using only sqrt from the math module so in that case you need not consume your memory by uh, calling the entire functions of a module so you can just choose to call only sqrt so in that case the syntax will be from module name import the functions name so let's say you want to have only the two functions sqrt and pow then you have to write the statement as from math import sqrt comma pow so how to use it for using the functions with this particular import statement you can directly use the function name i repeat you can directly use the function name you need not uh, attach the module name while calling the functions so directly you can call the function for example sqrt4 will give you the answer as how much two let's try to use this from import statement before that i'll just clear it and restart the kernel okay so let's say i want only sqrt so what i'll write from mat import sqrt okay now let's try to use math dot sqrt 4 it will give me an error why because i have not directly used the import math statement i have used from math import sqrt so if you are using the from statement then you should not attach the particular module name so how you can use it you can directly use it so if i give sqrt4 i'll get the answer as 2.0 all right so remember this thing do not attach the particular module name while you are using the from import statement okay so i hope these parts are clear in the next part i'll be dealing with the user defined functions okay thank you very much